Outside the box should be viewed by mature audiences only. This show contains strong language, adult situations, drinking, ass-kicking fun, law-breaking nonsense, running with scissors, and just about everything your mother told you not to do. In other words, we are a bad influence and in are irresponsible adults. Viewer discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, live from Studio 630 in the burbs of Chicago. It is time now for another episode of Outside the Box. Outside the Box. With your hosts, Oz Osborne and Pee Wee Taylor. We're on a mission from God. We are in episode 26. I gotta say that now because every time I do that, like Pee Wee, what episode is this? 20. Well, we're like, we sit here and hum and on about what episode it is. We're at 26. We're on 26 and we're on our way to 50. Yeah. We, we've got some kick ass shit going. I don't know about you, but this is starting to really become fun. It's picking up. We gotta talk about it a little bit. First off, look at the lighting. We're almost fucking beautiful. We're, we're, we look perfect. It feels just, if this keeps up, I'm gonna have a supermodel career going. Well, and I'll tell you what, it feels very professional now with the lighting. I gotta actually suck it in, so I, I know. All, uh, I like these chairs more because <laughs> my last seating setup was not good. Well, you know what? That's like the next thing that we need to work on is some good seating, and we got we got to talk about our coffee table, which is going to be made out of pieces of railing box. We've talked about that, but anyway, so we're on episode twenty six, and we've got the guys from Shy Town XB. We wanted to get people together locally and throw them all in here and do some interviews. And, you know, just kind of get average everyday people and uh, get insight from what they, they're into. So that's what we got coming for you. We got a little bit of other shit to talk about. First off, I think we need to talk about, since we are making our switch into the, you know what I was thinking about? I'm like, maybe we should just call it like box culture or something. I don't know. I haven't figured out how to do it. Wait, the wording is confusing. I don't want to bite off Rick's thing, you know. Because hey, the problem is he's got the perfect name, box like. Yeah, I know. He did now it. you have to figure out something, some other wording. Right. But what I want to do is we got to figure out where, where are we going to cut it off? It's, it's hard oh, because boy. I don't know where they use theirs at. This... Because some of the stuff I see, I'm like, that's not even close to this, a box. This is an open-end question worse than what is an XB considered. Well, Because it's like, okay, is a Jeep a box lifestyle vehicle? No. I don't think it should. Well, it's I, think quite, the, I think the Patriot should count. Yes, yeah, not a Jeep Jeep. No Wranglers, no Cherokees, because those, those become SUVs. But, like, is an SUV a box lifestyle vehicle? Well, that's my concern. And this is, a minivan is. This is what I was, for this sure is what is I was thinking. Van. Instead of going like what, what he's done, Mr. Hernandez. I mean, I'll just do that. Mr. Hernandez instead of... I like Mr. Hernandez. It sounds Mr. amazing. Mr. Hernandez. We're, we're giving you that. Um, we don't want to be like totally like him. And no. we want to do... Put it on something. Like, I've been trying to figure out what we're going to put on the stickers. And I was thinking... SUVs. Wagons. And vans. Because, like, if in the last couple episodes, you might have seen that I had a, a body uh, Hummer H2. 
yes, that I put right. in there. And I don't think that's considered boxed by those guys. But for us, we would bring in the the, the mini truck style. Yes. I mean, what about like an S10 Blazer? I mean, that could be. It could be. That's why I'm saying, where are we going to draw a line? Because for us... Because we don't have to draw the line according to someone up. We can create that line. Right. And we're more into the mini truck thing, so we can bring that to it. So SUVs, I think, is not a problem. I would say mini SUVs. I don't think we need to get some Escalades and some... I almost don't, doesn't think... I don't think an H2 should count. An H3, maybe. Because can you, can you decide on size? Does it go by engine? Does it go by four wheel drive? Like what? Maybe we just need to go like by personality. You're an asshole. We don't want you on here. I don't know. I think it should be a case by case thing. Because <laughs> if you go both of that, it's box van wagon. But here's another. Here's another goofy one. What's a wagon? Define what a wagon is. Well, that, that's, that brings you back to is the whole a hat, what's, thing. It, what's what's the difference between a hatchback and a wagon? Or a van, really? Well, I think a van is like. The third row seat. It was what separates. But, no, a, but, but a station wagon has a third row too. Not necessarily. If it's a minivan, it's the Astro van, you may only got one row of seats. Because that's could be a I'd, cargo van. That's the way I'd rock it. But uh, but the Astro vans also have. Oh boy! See, See, this is this is where this is the open end argument. So this is my idea. We're gonna go. Wagon. I don't care what the wagon is really. Uh, you know what? I'm not saying a 72 fucking POS Chevy wagon is on our life. What about a bubble body, you know, wagon or uh, a Caprice? Oh, uh, but Does I, that do, count? I do like me some cockroaches. So do I. But I don't think it's really us. Is it import? Is it more import wagon? Maybe that's. I feel it. like it's an Im- I feel like the whole box thing is an import thing. It is. It's really an import thing. I mean, the XBs, the minivan scene is all imports. I mean, there's a couple caravans, but most are imports. All, all the wagons that show up, most of them are imports. You got, what about a Ford Flex? I think a Ford Flex definitely counts. Oh, yeah, and that's full yeah. size. Is that considered a full size yeah. SUV? See, this is like the weird... It's like a weird thing. And see, like with, with Mr. Hernandez... He's even got the freaking uh, Hyundai Veloster. I yeah, I guess that counts too. Which that's kind of cool because then my girlfriend could be in. What is that? Is that a wagon or is that a hatchback or what is a Veloster? Yes, <laughs> it's a Hyundai. That's a that's a weird vehicle. Well, it's uh, the, it's the three door thing. I bet that sounds really great on the mic right there. You hear my? Um, I like the sound of the ice. In I don't. The I, I don't see this going. This conversation really getting anywhere. <laughs> well, I don't, well, we have to figure out what's what. So I mean, I think we should with us. I think it's case by case. I think with us, it is going to be either import style or mini truck style. Okay, I'm not saying a sixty. All right, uh, I, go, I agree. So with that. I, I love sixty four Impala wagons. That's more muscle car. I don't think that's a. Uh, I don't uh, think so. But. In 25, and what the outro, there's a Volvo wagon, like an 80s Volvo wagon. Okay, I think a Volvo wagon, but that's an import too. It is an import, but it wasn't done that way. So I think but it is. is that okay, okay, but but the whole classic thing doesn't count because what if somebody has a, a Datsun 510 wagon? Uh, that's definitely. You gotta, fuck, you gotta fucking go there. We got, I, we <laughs> have to because if we're gonna, we gotta define. There's the no way to get around that one because a fucking 510 wagon get, is like. You, it, nobody says no to a 510 wagon. No, no. I don't know. Maybe it just has to depend on the style. Mini truck? I think I think import is definitely one of the big factors, but it's not exclusive to imports. Maybe that's we, how I'm gonna decide this. Maybe we gotta put it to these guys. Maybe they gotta comment. Let it become and, uh, a uh, comment. So, yeah. Because I think that's a good I'm idea. sure that they're gonna put up throw out more shit down there that's Because they're gonna throw up ten other suggestions. They're gonna start bringing up international stuff. Well, because stuff. then if you're gonna go there, is it like a freaking sixties econoline van and a fucking A one hundred part of it? Well that's the thing. What does a full size van do? Because I'll tell you right now, I would give up all this shit for an A one hundred. Maybe yeah. maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. If it, if it runs and drives, yeah. Sixty eight charger maybe. 
Fox what? I do like question. <clears throat> so anyway. That that helps. Maybe. Do we know anything now that we didn't know before? No. <laughs> okay. This was an ended well, Let's see let's see what the viewers have to say because I, I just don't know where to go with that. I don't know where to go either. Like cause it's it's hard to set a boundary because like I don't think a full, like, should a full size van count. So if you bring a 77 Dodge van or a Chevy Express or a Ford Econoline, does that count too? I think so. I think it has to, I right? Think, I think the li- the edge of the lines are going to be very blurry. And it's going to be. I think so, yeah. Because to be honest, you know, think about it. If you think of Van Gogh, that build is sick. It's more lowrider. So how would we not fucking let that guy come in? Oh, I would let him in no matter what. And, I don't care what. And that truck is. has been to fucking Japan. It was at a Moon Eyes event, which I saw a video, which is fucking kick ass. I wonder what that's like to bring your car to a show in another Dude, country. did you see that video? I'll have to see if I can find it. I've but seen it, the it, Hoonigan it, one, but I haven't watched no, it. No, this video yet. was him in that van, and they had doors closed, and he opens the doors, and he drives the van into the indoor show, and it's nothing but people. All the way through oh, taking yeah. pictures. I'm going... The Moon Eyes show is crazy. That right there, that's what I want someday. That's the, that's the show... St- I think that was the showstopper. So, I think it's all going to be that. I think we're going to... There's very little. I think... I think people should bring it and then let it just become... A, figure it out when you get there. I think what, for sticker-wise, what I'm thinking, I'm just going to change it to... Um, Wagons, square-ish van, vehicles, va- wagons, just... vans, and SUVs. I'll leave it at that. Oh, Jim, why you gotta be making all kinds of noise over there now? Or is that me? That's you. <laughs> so we're recording on two cameras now, and one of them it, it won't show up in the thing. But uh, so we're doing we're, we're recording more, so we can kind of adjust. We can throw different cam- angles in now. Two cameras. Two cameras. Three mics. Twice the fun. Look at the lighting in here. I, it's really weird looking at the lighting because it feels very studio So, another thing I want to bring up. I know you're tired of it. The whole dumpster shit. Oh, my God. Don't start a page. I know don't start a page. I didn't mind the page. If you can keep it all on that page, it's fine. But the problem is... I went on a whole rant about this the other day. I'm just tired of it. Okay, well, It's not even funny. Let me put this it's, It ceases to be funny. Let me put this out there for you. All right. I've noticed this. If you look on the page, the groups, I'm going to say groups this time instead of pages and all that shit because I always get it wrong. If you look on the groups, all the high-end guys are gone. Very, I'm starting to notice very that. Very rarely do you see anybody post anything like that. So it's all these guys that have lower-end builds. I won't even say lower-end, but you're not... At the to- at the high end yet. You're not at the top twenty of popular. And they're trying to make a name films. for themselves, and that's what it is. Here's the thing. I have both. I like both, but I can tell you both of them suck too. I'll tell you what. Why? I can I- tell you everything wrong with the first gen, and I can tell you everything wrong with the second gen. I don't care if it's a first gen or a second gen, and I know I put a lot of, of you blame on. It the took a long gen. time for you to like the like the second gen, but. I'm saying, why are we fighting amongst ourselves when we got these gay guys that are driving TCs nowadays? Because one of those guys was the ones that was starting. The fuck, are people still building those? I don't know. Between I thought that was the the official car of pink fuzzy handcuffs and uh, texting while driving. That's pretty much what I think of it. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see a TC, just some teenage girl. But my thing is this. I'm going to start putting people on blast on being a poser. There's a lot of people. I don't even have time for that. There's a lot of people on there. Give a fuck and, and, and I was going to bring up the one that guy's like, oh, what about uh, you put a first gen and a second gen in a car show? First off, you're a dumbass. They, they, they have nothing to fucking do with each other. First, nothing. That guy was a complete fucking dumbass. And they I'll, have nothing to do with I will not put nothing. his name on there, but you guys will know. This is a guy that's never been to a fucking car show a day in his life, and he's a poser because he's, oh, oh, oh. Shut the fuck up. I don't I don't even care. I just don't care. If you want to be in the lifestyle, be in the lifestyle. If not, get the fuck out and shut up. It's fine. And I'll make sure of it. I'll fucking put you on blast. I just don't care. I just don't fucking care. That just 
gets it drives me nuts. There's so many people out there that are talking that shouldn't be talking, you know. And there, I think that 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 conversation had over 150 freaking comments. It's it's clickbait. And it's it's all, probably you know what? It's probably the Russians. <laughs> I'm thinking it's the Russians that create all these fake articles and God damn it, the I'm Russians got to the I'm starting to think it's the Russians. It's the fucking Russians. It's clickbait. It's just it's just a way to people to to, to get people going. Like how many fucking stupid posts do you see like Oh, which one do you like more? Weed or pussy? It's like, what? What does that have to do with anything? Or oh, which muscle car would you like? Like one of them's gotta go. It's like or like they use like the react ones. I'm like, who gives a fuck? Nobody cares. I don't give a shit. That's it. I really don't. The fucking Russian troll farms are in the fucking the troll farms. I'm telling you, I'm blaming the Russians. <laughs> I'm, I'm going after the posers. The posers are probably Russians. They just take picture of XB and put it on a fake. <laughs> oh profile. yes, I got the my. I, I don't even know how to do a Russian accent. It turned. Well, into they're not me. getting it outside the box because we scream. But like, <laughs> I take a, I take a quick peek. But most people are legit. Everyone I've approved is legit. I haven't turned anybody away yet. I am. Have you? Yeah. Sometimes you beat me to it because me and you both run it, and I'm like, I'll go to do it. I'm like, oh, there's somebody, who, and then I'm like. It's gone. I'll, like, just, oh, stop it. to go I'll just stop doing it and let you do it. Either way, whatever. So if you want in, you got to kiss his ass. I have selected a few, but I've looked to make sure Oh, you sure wanted they... two, that's right. Yeah, so I looked to make sure there's an XP, or if they're friends with a bunch of people with XPs, and a lot of them I like, see like, a lot oh. of them, it's like, oh, groups in common, friends in common, I'm like... Yeah, but it's not just man. XPs anymore, because I did that too, True. and I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. I haven't had anybody I said... I've never said no to anybody. Uh, so, if you guys aren't on our group... Get on our group because we're trying to make it as fun as possible. I know you guys get on some of those other pages and it's just nothing but fucking, I got three lights I'm on. I'm trying to make this the page that doesn't suck. Yes, thank you. That's what we're trying to do. And I, here's another quick thing, and I don't want to harp on this. I'm not moderating people's conversations. No, it is. If you report something, I'm ignoring it because if you have a beef with somebody or whatever, go figure that shit out somewhere else. I'm not taking stuff down, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna govern or regulate or play referee. And figure it the fuck out on your own. And that's D, why your own personal messenger. That's why that's I that. did the thing, the post I did last week, and said, "You joined another cast, have at it. If you're gonna say something, make sure that you can own up to it, because I ain't taking it down. It's and, not it's not our problem. And if you say something you regret, it's staying. I don't care." So don't report anybody. If you get your fucking... You can delete your own post. If you get butt, per, butt hurt or whatever, fucking... That's a personal problem. It's not for you, so... Do other pages deal with this shit, too? Yeah. We've only had, like, one thing happen. Other than that, it's been fine. That wasn't even bad. It wasn't even bad. Okay, like... There was... You know. know what I was offended by? There was a fucking three-light question. But I let it slide... Because he was like 30 minutes before I posted the last thing saying, don't put that shit up there. I want to stay away from tech questions unless it's something specific and they and it's like... No, no, no. this is customization. If you've got a problem right, your car's not... All right, you know not, what? I think you're right. If your car's if not running right, go to the other page. If it's modification related, if yes, you, yeah or nay. Yeah, if, hey, I just fucking put 26s on my car and I can't get it to start, <laughs> we'll answer the question. That's... that's <laughs> My steering doesn't turn. <laughs> I saw one where somebody goes, I had new TPMS sensors and now the battery's dead or something like that. Oh my God, I can't deal with this. Hey guys, here's the idea. If your car's broke, take it to somebody that can work on it. There's shops everywhere. That's like the three light question is never going to go away. And here's my thing. Go let somebody scan it. Because you can't figure it out until it scans. Right. It could be anything. And if it's beyond I can, what you I can know, tell you what it is. Listen, I don't have shame. If it's past my knowledge or past something I can get involved or have time to do, I'll let somebody do it. Well, I'll here's the thing. To do it, I you know can I mean? tell you what it is. He can tell you what it is. James can tell you what it is. And we could, all Anybody, three of us could be wrong. All of us could be wrong because it could be any number of anything. you got to get get it hooked up to the computer and you've got to figure it Gas out. Gas cap is not the answer. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's you not You can go to AutoZone or Toyota. Oh, my God. That was bad. Oh. Pickles. 
The AutoZone one, I have a feeling that like if you get on a real scanner, it, it's way more in depth and way more accurate because the AutoZone one yes. will give you the code, but it doesn't. And, and that, 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 I'm that I'll tell you. I was talking to my neighbor over here, and we were talking. He was asking me about Random Box, and he, I told him I had it on the computer. He goes, "Just because you had it on that computer doesn't mean that's going to tell you what it is." He goes, "Because a cheaper computer won't say shit, but if you plug it into a better computer, it'll tell you a lot more." Oh, like if you have a Snap on one, Jesse showed me his. It gives you all kinds of way, way more information on stuff. So you guys need to understand that. So if you have these problems. Asking about it on the internet is not going to answer the problem. You need to take it somewhere and get it diagnosed. You know what else I figured out about AutoZone scanners? There's usually a guy that has no idea what he's doing. That, there. that, and when they print, they when they get on the computer and they plug it back in to print the receipt, all the things that could be wrong with it, it puts out all the part numbers so you can click on it and the guy can go find it and sell it to you right then and there. It's a sales play. Down to the drop it there. So I'm sure. So take it in, guys. It's the same with the, you know, another thing that drives you nuts is I hit something. I need a new fender. Call Rock Auto. Call e, look up on eBay. Find the fucking part. Salvage yard. Salvage yard. Your local. Call, your local thing. Pick up the phone and start calling. They're and what, everywhere. And what happens here? Okay, let's let's talk about this since we're with the Shy Town thing. Who was it that posted the white XB? Jesse did. Jesse. It was Jesse. Jesse posted a picture. That was a clean one. Did you buy it? That white one? Yeah, I figured you were going to buy the whole truck. I don't think you can buy the whole thing. Because <laughs> I, I was thinking to. about it. Dude, it's in, it's, I'm telling you, it, it was, was in fucking perfect. It's about, a, it's the nicest XB I've seen in the yard. Well. I pulled both bumpers off it. But that's my point. Okay. So. And I, I got off on a tangent there, but I just, I said when Jesse posted it, like, he said he was going with you. I'm like, he was going to buy that. But. I wanted to. Shy town group. We've got our own separate group. Which doesn't get a lot of play on it, but if it's I think small. Claudia is usually the one that posts it. She's she watches for the junkyard. She cars, stays on it and, and she's, she's pointed she, stuff out to me. And she, I think Jesse was the one that posted this one up, and it was like, who wants what? And they, everybody was commenting, and I think everybody's coming here today to pick shit up. Here's the problem with that: if it's something more than like thirty bucks, I have a problem picking it up. Well, it depends on you the You know person. what I'm saying? If it's somebody like, I know, like, I picked it up for Claudia. I said, yeah. Oh, you know she'll pay you. Well, I bought those two bumpers no matter what because they were so clean. I'm like, I'm going to sit on them. But, like, if somebody goes, oh, yeah, can you pull out, like, the ECU and, like, 10 other things buried in the dashboard? Like, no, no. you go do it. <laughs> if it's something easy, I don't mind grabbing it or if it's something cheap. No. But, um, I don't know. know. I think we've gone off on quite a few tangents there. Did I tell you about my scam the other day? No. So, I ended up in the city for work. Live this is related. Live it's ladies totally are related. Oil to make you happy? No. no. Those ones are never No, ready. no, 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 no. Okay. So, I got the company box truck. Jesse hits me up in the morning and goes, LKQ Chicago has a, has a 2.5, which Randall went on a whole rant about that, too. But that's a topic for later. Yes. The 2.5 is the easy way to differentiate without going, oh, the new one or the old one. Okay, anyhow, so I'm like, where is it? He's like, Chicago. I mapped it. I'm like 20 minutes away from the place. You did it on the clock? I t I, okay, so I clocked out for lunch, <laughs> drove there, picked up the bumper, put it in the company truck, got back to the expressway, punched back in, and drove back to the shop. I did it all while I was out there. You're going to tell me later on you were still on the clock, right? <laughs> oh, no, I honestly... Oh, I'm watching, no, watching. no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> I wasn't. Well, I think the truck's got a tracking chip anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I clocked out for it. Whatever. He lets he lets people borrow it, so it's not like the mileage was a big deal. I'm just it was like 20 minutes out of the way. But that's the way to do it. That's the lifestyle, motherfucker. No, and I'm going to tell you... That, that right there is not a poser. He's I'm going to tell you what's an, even, what's an even worse thing than that is there was no 10 mils in the shop, and I didn't bring my tool bag of all my automotive stuff. So I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? I go to Ace Hardware, buy the, <laughs> buy the socket set with the wrench, bought it, took it with me, and the way they seal it is it's one black zip tie on the Craftsman. So you took it back. 
I returned it and got my money back. <laughs> yeah. After I got done. <laughs> I was like, I was fucking winning. I'm like, I couldn't, yeah. I figured, I figured everyone needed to hear that. Yeah, that's fucking up. You know what I figured out? I figure now out? know the difference between a first gen and second gen Kia. I know. There's a bit. And There's a what? brand new Kia in that yard too. I, a brand 2020? No, not tw- the one before that. Oh, okay. No. But we had we had quite a few of them in the shop, and I'm looking. And by the way, guys, if you want to get low, the Kia guys, I, I've, I'm a, I've got this planned out. And you know what I want to do? I'm when gonna, are you going to buy one? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to draw do some some renderings because I've got some ideas for the Kia guys. Some stuff that I haven't seen yet. Sell me Das Creature and go put a down payment on a new soul. Uh, I don't need another car payment. I don't want to spend that much money right now. I hear that. <laughs> I don't want to spend I want one, anything. but don't get me wrong. I, I, and for you XB guys, wait, I wait, am going to get wait, a Wait a couple soul. months, even a year, the price is going to plummet out. You, you don't want to buy it the first year. You don't want to buy any car the first year comes no. out. No. You don't. No. We were looking at those online. And the Souls? Yeah, a nice fully loaded one. You better like, not. It was like, it was like 27000 I think. Yeah, the GT1. Turbo, it had a 10-inch widescreen display. Yeah. 10-inch like, widescreen. You remember when people were putting in TVs and thought they were like hot shit? You know, I, I don't buy. like a GT line, though. Yeah, I, I think that was a GT. I don't like the yeah. red. If it was a Turbo, it's a GT line. Yeah, it was a Turbo. Like, this, I prefer the Turbo. Is that for a Soul, man? Now, wait a minute. Is that a forced option? So, if you get the turbo, does it come with all the red shit? I, well, you could pick, like, like with black and blue oh, so you and can get white with red. Yeah. The only thing a solid color. The only thing yeah. I liked about okay. the GT line was you can get it black with a red roof. Yeah. 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 You, <laughs> you, you got you to, gotta, well, if, you, if you go well, online you click build, you can do. My theory was this. Figure. I could do that. But it would be cheaper for me to paint it. I was going to say, didn't you figure out it would just be cheaper if you just re it? Yeah, because I don't like the GT line because I don't like the grill. I like it. The GT has, no, like, I, I the GT has like three vent, three or four vents on the front. I don't like that. I like just a big open mouth. It's very Range Rover-esque. <laughs> that's kind of what that... that, that I know. That's why I like it. It looks... I'm telling you. The like, back end, though, has got to grow in me a little bit. The two before that, I could give a fuck about. Like... I kind of the like first them. Gen, when they're done nicely, they look good. But stock, I, I drove one and I didn't like. Okay, it. so I was looking at this. I was working on a second gen yesterday, and I had to buff the front end. And I'm looking at it, and I'll I'll do some throw some pictures up here. The hood is crazy, dude. If you take the hood off and put it next to a second gen, um, is it real close? It's really fucking close. It's just that they they wrap around a little bit more. Okay. I looked at it, I'm like, we don't have any second gen. Uh, XB's in here, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's a Kia. So, I'm looking at it, I'm like, first thing I would do, shave the fucking emblem off the front. That's absolutely, yeah. Uh, and I've got a picture of that. Post, I'll post up there and show you what to do. But I also was thinking I'd do the same thing as we are talking with yours. Bring the grill down and gone. The only problem is with undoing that, the bottom of the bumper, you got to freaking fab it because their bumper, the, the grill goes into Yeah, the they got real wonky bumpers. But if you did way. that, it would look so smooth. And then I was looking at, it was, also, it was the second gen, and it has this big open mouth, and I'm going, yeah. I have yet to see a billet grill in there. Dude, that would be a I would massive. Cut, that would be a massive. I would cut that thing out, put a billet got, grill in there. I got an it. outfit that works out of Arizona, that GTG. They did mine. I'm not, this is not like a promo for them or anything. But they will do... Model specific stuff and custom orders. You can do that with some of the other billet girls too companies too. I think T Rex does it. I I dealt with GTG. They were they were pretty cool, cause like, so I have that second bumper. I still want to try and shave out the emblem, and then I want to do the take mine and make yeah, the got thing it. with yours. But I want to have something that I can do and we've keep got, driving it. We've got something coming in for you guys with that, and we we want to change the game with the second gen bumpers. We're, it's, we're gonna, we've got it's some gonna be. Wine. It's gonna. I'm hoping you guys have seen the the freaking stubby style bumper I made for for Raylan Box, and now I'm making one for Dust Creature. But we've got an idea, and we sat down the last time he was here, and we we had both. Uh, what is we it had both the bumpers. The two point oh and the two point five. Well, okay. Bumpers. Stop. That I'm out. <laughs> How do you differ? How do you tell the? How do you okay? If you're telling somebody about a, a, the two or the two four, how else would you 
tell them what the difference is yeah. without being like the new one or the older one. We don't do that with Toyota trucks. It was either an 87 or an 89 or a 90. Okay, but the X, but they're different. Yeah, but they're So not. what do you just call it an 08 bumper? Yeah. But they changed. What? They changed in like 2011. Then that's a 2011 bumper then. All right. That's how it works. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, there's other shit that's different. Because you seats can say change, the console 2.5, changes, 08, or the radios change. There's, a, there's shit that's different. Right. There was a subtle right. body I, style change. I get where you're... Okay. You know what? I maybe Dode has a thing. I understand, I understand, a thing, I understand point, the 2.5 too, but it's just kind of... Eh. I don't know. That's what everyone was calling it before I got involved, so I kind of just... Anyway. With that. Speaking of... Promo, whatever you want to call it. Did you see the fucking rail boxes on the legacy page for the rail for the rag? It's fucking about time. When are they gonna send you the twenty dollar gift card that they owe you? <laughs> I don't know. I was I sent a picture to my girlfriend. I'm like, look, you're on the legacy page. She goes, I don't think that's why that picture is there. <laughs> well, it's a, well, who was it before? I, I there was a, there's there's still those pictures are up there. I don't know whose they are. Yeah, but yours is the one like when you click XB, it's yours. It was like a second one that I saw. Well, you're like a big advocator. Okay, you to the legacy ragtop is like Joe Rogan I to push, the to the the isolation tanks. I push legacy ragtops almost as much as I push random parts. Almost. And Legacy ain't paying us. <laughs> Legacy ain't doing nothing for me. Legacy don't care. But apparently they know... All I, I would, all I was, and I'm, I'm going to say why I push it, because in the last one, I know we talked about Kenneth, right? Kenneth got the ragtop in. You saw that, right? Yeah. Which I'm, I'm happy he got it in and wasn't waiting for us, but the reason I bring it up is exactly... He's like, dude, I can't wait to go on a long road trip. Dude, you have no idea what it's like until you've been in a ragtop. You think XB shit's fun? Cut that fucking roof back. People look at me like I was like we like we were reckless for doing that. I'm like, dude, no. it is the best fucking thing ever. And it's I, all in the I, install. They don't leak when they're installed, right? I claimed I prefer my ragtop as my favorite mod over the body drop. If you watch the show, I, cars in Chicago, the, cars in Chicago was still yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna blow up their spot. You guys, it's, Jeff, the, get to work. The Angel, is, get to work. It's, it's not one of those things that's not even, like, yeah, it's a big aesthetic thing. And it is, a like, you go to an import show, it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, I know. Mini uh, truck shows, there's fucking whatever. There's a bunch of them, but. Yeah, like, you guys and the know. other thing is, it changes the way you, like, when you're driving. It, it's, it changes the whole feel. I don't like convertible. Not like a convertible. Dude, it is the best. It's thing. better than a convertible because you still have a roof, but you just give that openness. You put the windows down, you don't have the blowing like you did in the freaking right. No, when you, when, like, I drove with wait a all the windows wait, down, wait, 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 wait. top open going 80. We're not getting paid for this. Yeah, but I'm, I, I'm not doing it to sell their top. I'm just saying that people should do it. I will continue because this conversation with Lance. Okay. He gives me my twenty dollars gift card. There you go. Done. <laughs> Next topic. I think we're good. Both of these guys are already lost interest. <laughs> Jim, are you still awake back there? I think yeah. we lost Jim. Uh, Rand no, I just posted Randall. <laughs> says, Do you want to know he's got Jim, a drink? He says James, Jim, Kevin, drink. Oh. I'm drinking it right now. <laughs> Shit. And I'm trying not to talk because you edit me out anyway. I won't edit you out. I don't have anything in there about ice water, just so you guys know, but I did drink random. This is empty anyway, yeah, so... All right, so... I think we're done. I think that covers... I think that's a solid intro. How long have we been at this? 32. It's funny. Holy shit. We better shut up. See you guys.
some of the groups were getting a little I didn't even see what you were talking about it's just yeah I, I don't even remember where I saw it what there was some I don't remember what your rant was about. it was just like the, the whole gen 2 dumpster thing like it was funny for like a week I'm like okay this needs to come to yeah, it. <laughs> this yeah. isn't funny it wasn't funny if it was funny I wouldn't care I think Ford did it I think Chevy did it and it's just what it is. I think there should be that rivalry like you just said there's yeah. always the Ford guys and the Chevy guys okay yeah but it gets to a point where, yeah, okay, we've heard it, we've seen the mm -hmm. dumpster. And There's no it. comparison. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. There's just, you can't compare. You're comparing apples and hand grenades. Yeah. It's just a, yeah. a different thing. And we're all in the same thing, you know, lifestyle and whatnot. But I think it's important that there should be some kind of a rivalry, but it doesn't need to get to where it's going. And no, I think I it's know. bad. And not only that, you know, we've got other thing, issues with the pages now, and it seems like... There's a lot less customization going on. It's people, maintenance and whatnot, and, and the three lights of death. The three, the three <laughs> lights of death. And I think we talk about that on every fucking video cast too. And mm -hmm. That's why I just tell them. What, 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 what are these lights? <laughs> check <laughs> one MP. That's the best answer I've heard yet. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We have a Toyota tech in the house. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want to answer that question either. <laughs> he doesn't know. He's going to tell you to put it on a scanner. Like, I'm like yeah. yeah, you should. There you go. There's that. <laughs> I just, I, the forums things. are getting crazy, but it's like. Well, we talked about it. You know, Jesse will bring you up a little bit. We just talked about it on an intro. And we were saying, you know, you got to take it in and get it looked at. You got to plug yeah. the thing in. You're not going to know what the code is. It, I could tell you what it is. Claudia could tell you what it is. James could tell you what it is. And it could be any of those three. Well, it's a various, it's various different things, right? For, for the three lights on the first gen? No, it's going to be the same shit. Like, 90% of Toyotas that are OBD2 and newer, just anytime the check engine light goes on, usually the traction control light and ABS and all that shit goes Come on, on with it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just to tell you that there's a fault somewhere and to get it looked at. 
I think they do that to scare you. Yeah, exactly. Get it. They're like, like, oh, my God, lights are out. Well, well, shit's that on the time because everybody's slow. freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like people come in going, oh, my God, there's a big, giant triangle with an exclamation point on it. What's going on? And it's like, no, you just need an oil change or rotate. The ma- how it's many like, people... Oh, my God, that maintenance light like question, too. Like, yeah. what does this you mean? Get Why is it flashing? Eventually, it means replace the car. I mean... <laughs> just, <laughs> just throw the whole, throw the whole car out. You're just right. it, Let's it go back to the dumpster again. <laughs> <yet, you know? laughs> well, it, it's funny. You know, I, I've had check engine lights on, on you know, both of my cars. Both of them have it on. I blow the fucking motor in Raylan box because I have the oil issue where I drew the drag plug out or drain plug out and you you get used to it to a certain extent and it's like I wait for the thing to flash or something I'm like oh, whatever it'll be fine mm-hmm. you know I don't see the the urgency of it but I guess there are a lot of people out well you're also in a county that doesn't run require admission so they never even yeah. check it by yeah. me they still check it I think I'm I think I'm in one of the last. <clears throat> Three counties in Illinois that still do emissions. Mine checked emissions, but mine mis- miraculously just turned off, so I hauled ass to the emissions. <laughs> <laughs> it passed, and like 30 miles later, it turned back on, and I was like, damn it, but I mean, I got it fixed. I, <laughs> yeah, what did that mean? <laughs> um, in my shop, the, the last few cars I've had were checking was, uh, was, was, was gas, gas gaps. They don't, well, they, you ratchet them on. Yeah. I think There's it was a missing tooth that'll ratchet on, they, they come loose. I don't even yeah, remember, so but. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have the scanner and everything, and it's like, I know what it is, it's just no time, or... It's mostly if no it's time. Like, 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 right now it's on, and I know it's the P0441, it's the charcoal canister. I have it, but there's no time. Yeah, but that doesn't really hurt the car. Yeah, it doesn't, so it's That's like, well, it's there, it. it's in the garage, when I have to, if I have time, I'll do it, if not, I mean, it's there, or I'll just eventually get something to do it. I don't, have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just ripped it all out, right? On real box. Yeah. No, no, not on real box. But well, the funny thing is, I was just telling these guys and uh, Dust Creature this last couple weekends. I well, you, it was two weeks because you were with us. We were coming back from Morris Cruise night, and all of a sudden, the exhaust fell. Oh. Sounded like it fell off. And I'm like, holy shit! I guess I got to fix that tomorrow. And <laughs> it was loud. The funny thing is, is. I didn't know what it was. I thought I had a hole or something, and I was like, oh, I'll take care of it. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was the exhaust donut off the, the, the header. I'm like, ah, oh, that's gone. I'll fix it. I get out there. The freaking exhaust came off at the muffler. And I'm like, okay, I'll have to figure this out. And I'm, the funny part of the story is I'm like, oh, I got some of those. They're out behind the shed. So I fucking go and grab it and fucking work it in there and now it sounds like I got an aftermarket exhaust because all the innards fucking sounds like my granny. <laughs> <sounds like my, laughs> <sounds like my, laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So we we know Jim Jim here. He's been on once. So we're gonna skip him for a minute. We're gonna talk to Claudia here for a second. She can introduce herself like she did and then just tell us a little bit about your car. Um it's an O five XB. Had it for about four years now. I had it fully stocked until I went to the O the so ill um, Halloween show and that's where I saw both of your XB's and it was like oh my god I gotta do it again because <laughs> I had gotten out of the car scene and my wife was just like you're spending too much money you gotta stop and yeah so when I went to the car show my wife wasn't there so I was like yeah I have to I have to get back in and yeah four years later it's been I've been throwing money at it customizing it one way or another and yeah I mean one I mean, I bought a couple of things off of Daniel. I know I have his uh, back bench. It's in the garage because I want to convert the front. I want to take the front seats out and do that. Um, I just recently bought the Orotaro knobs off of him. Um, I want to lift the truck, uh, lift the XB instead of lowering it because the Chicago potholes are really shitty. <laughs> yeah, you're out <laughs> in the city. <laughs> Her roads are bad. I oh, know her neighborhood there. They're bad. I don't blame you. So what's it like having to work on a car in the city? Like, uh, Well, um, it's not bad. I mean, sometimes I go to my dad's garage and I get to work on it there. But yeah. sometimes I'm in front of the house. I don't have a garage. So I just lift it up. And some of the neighbors stop by. Oh, you know how to work on cars? I had a cop um, <laughs> pull over. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh... I'm just doing X, Y, Z. Oh, that's cool. You know how to work on it? Yeah. Oh, well, have a nice day. 
<laughs> so. Yeah, everyone wants to see, oh, what are you working on? I can't imagine working on a car on the side of the road like that. that would, yeah. Just, Joe's got And at the time, my car that. was pink. That's when I had a fully uh, vinyl wrap pink. Yeah. Mm. So That's it, bright. That's a lot of pink. It was very pink. Um, and Lyft had paid for that. Um, I was driving for Lyft that year, and they were doing some promotion, and they paid for everything, gave me an extra 500 bucks because I was losing money. But I was um, working, uh, I was detailing for Fletcher Jones at the time. And so I just took the bus to work. So I made an extra 500 besides the 200 daily that I was making and it was just like, cool, take it, do whatever you want to it. And it was just a really, really bright pink that was really overwhelming for me. I think it's like a pickup truck that Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh no, my I had a gorilla that was Pepto Bismol. It was just really bad. <laughs> now, did they put their sticker on the side of it? Yeah, or? they did. But it, um, because of the Chicago ordinances at the time, they wouldn't allow it. So there was about eight of us who had the pink wrap with the lift logo. They all took it off, and I'm like, no, fuck that shit. They paid like three thousand dollars. I took the lift logos off and the pink wrap for like a year and a half. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. So Jesse, you've been around for a while. Yeah. Why don't you fill us all in on your ride? And um, I have a 2015. Got it brand new, basically almost like 300 miles on it because it came from what was it Michigan? Because I wanted a white yeah. one. Uh -huh, okay. But. Uh, I don't know. It, it's not anything crazy. I mean, I got airlift suspension on it. Uh, some the Clasio seat covers, wheels, uh, purple wheels. Um, what else? Do I have? You got those dash pieces. You got all the hydro dipped everything. Oh yeah, hydro dipped dash pieces. Um, the TRD exhaust, uh, BC coilover rear shocks. Yeah, you gotta swap those over because you can't. Yeah. Um, stainless steel brake lines. But that's about it for now. How are those brake lines? Those ones you bought? They're alright. I mean, <clears throat> They're not like crazy. Like they just look good. You get well, that don't worry about them like, like rotting or anything. So I'm like whatever. True. That's what I you know. They, they say there is definite benefits to going to those. Yeah, um, I always, the pedal's a little harder, not by much. That's something that you're gonna notice in these. Yeah, I mean, unless you're like stomping on it when you need to, that's when you notice it. But other than that, I always like the look of it. it makes it nice and clean. And, yeah. And now you had, I know we talked about with Pee Wee here a while. You had some trouble with your airlift a while back. Yeah. And that's always been something that we don't know a lot about when it comes to some of those controllers. You want to fill us in a little bit on what was going on with that? Or? I can remember. Um, <laughs> to put you on the spot, sorry. Um, man. <clears throat> I think it was something to do with like the programming and the height sensors weren't registering to the to like the airlift module that was back there and it was something where they're like, Oh, I called them up and they're like, Oh, try doing an update through your phone for the airlift app. I did that, it still wouldn't program right, and it just wasn't, you know, registering any sort of programming, so I had to do it all manual or just like straight pressure based, and ended up going up to airlift just because I was going to, uh, like, right by Kalamazoo, Michigan, so I'm like, well, I'll swing up there, and they're like, yeah, no problem, come by, and they reprogrammed it with their computers and ever since then it's been fine sure. so I guess they I think they might have added a different software to it as like a test run and then when they're like okay that works I think they just kind of left it and 
released it or fixed whatever the bugs yeah. were with the programming. But that's always been my concern with that. You know, I I, I always run valves and I know how to work around it if something goes bad. So it's like weird when it gets into a situation like that where you know yeah. you've got this power block and you don't you know you're cutting into something that's worth a lot of money. You know, you don't want to be you know cutting into the wiring on that. Yeah. So I always wondered about some of that stuff, and of course, you know, obviously you got to worry about software issues, which is something I've never had to even think yeah. about. So it's kind of. I think it's one of those things where when it's working right, it's great, but when it's not working, it's going to become like, like, did it ever get to a point where it wouldn't lift the car? No. Okay, so at least you weren't stranded anywhere. Yeah, no, it was just like I would have to, you know, it sounds like stupid or whatever, but like I would have to sit there and pump it up with a little. Oh, okay. Dials and everything up to each pressure for every side. Instead of it just doing what it's yeah, supposed to do. Yeah, instead of like turning the car on and okay. letting it raise up and go to height. But yeah, they were really cool about it though. They, you know, walked around their shop where they make all the shit and it was pretty neat. That's kind of cool. I was pretty impressed. It's definitely got to be cool to roll in there. Yeah. Okay. Is it a big place? Is it like a big facility? Yeah, or? it looks like a giant warehouse. It's like, well, the back end where I went in for like their service area or whatever that was all it's like one giant warehouse and then up front they had like all the offices and shit like that for you know support people and stuff right. but yeah it was pretty cool well Jim made it back this time he got to bring his vehicle which I got some pictures of mm. and uh, mm. it's definitely some eye candy <laughs> he's been upgraded a little bit well I guess you, you, you got it out you were I was forced to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, forced to upgrade. Uh, forced to upgrade my uh, my air my air compressors. They're, they they finally uh, gave up the ghost after what 15, 16 years of uh, of continuous use. So that's pretty fucking you know, good. It's a long time. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's only sixty some thousand miles on it. <laughs> yeah, but even so, you know, yeah. sometimes a sitting. You know, yeah. obviously you don't daily drive it, uh, so it does do some winter sitting and whatnot. Yeah. And you would think, you know, sometimes, yeah. especially with electronic components, you know, mm -hmm. that stuff doesn't like to sit. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, to yeah. see that and to hear, you know, 16 years, that's amazing. It's, uh, yeah, it's, when you think about it, yeah, it's, uh, where do I go with the car from here anymore, you know? So, <laughs> I just want to keep it running, really. I mean, yeah. There's really nothing more I want to do, so. Well, and that's that's good, you know, because your car has that timeless look. You know, mm. you don't really need to, to upgrade to the new because it's always going to be. Yeah. And like you said, you know, when we were talking outside, it's going to come back around and. Yeah, it's got to be hitting yeah. full circle eventually. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, like what yeah. I said too was, it'll never go out of style because it was never <clears throat> in style. True. You know what I mean? Like it, it. The only thing, like, would you do anything with the interior? Because I mean, the outside's done. I don't know what else. I don't really do anything. On Side, yeah besides it's just maintaining the bumper really which yeah. is due for another fix you know but yeah. uh, interior I, I, I in 07 and 08 I, I wanted to do a, a, an oak overhead console with infinity mirrors because that was starting to like hey that'd be kind of cool to do no one does it uh, you know I wanted to do the, the tan leather uh, you know the seats the seat covers yeah, but yeah. That, that all fell through and lost my job, so that all got, you know, like, oh, well, I don't need it now, you know. Yeah, it's the whole headliner was going to get redone, it would have been pretty cool, because it would have matched all the, you know, dash accents and yeah. so. That would have looked amazing. Yeah, it would have. It still does in my head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty much. It looks cool in my head. I mean, you know, so after that, I just did minimal lighting in the car. I was never big in all kinds of lighting, but I wanted to do something inside the car. It was... Still going to shows here and there, you know. I would still do the, the, uh, you know, those, anything that might have something at night. I want to have at least some kind of lighting in the car. So I did little minimal stuff like that, but well, otherwise, yeah. I was thinking about that the other day. You know, some of these vehicles, there's so much lighting put into it, but that's the only thing that they've got to grab the attention. Something mm -hmm. on the level where you're at, mm -hmm. you want a little bit to show it when it's in the dark, but you don't want to overpower it's it. Accent lighting. You, you it don't need that. Lighting. The vehicle yeah. itself yeah. is going to bring the yeah. attention. So. Yeah, it is excellent. Your car yeah. stands out like you can't miss it. It's yeah. just you yeah. can't ignore it because everything's whatever. And then yeah, yeah, it stands out like a sort of thumb over. Really. <laughs> I think I think <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some lighting. My interior has zero lighting. Well, yeah, I don't even have a dome light. Dome lights out. I was like that for the longest time. I mean, I, 
you know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to do all the crazy neon stuff. It was starting to go away. LEDs were expensive. I'm like, I don't know where to go with this. Yeah. You know, so yeah, I really do have just minimal, minimal lighting. Whatever I scooped up for free and, you know, trips to Japan, when I walk down those aisles, I'm like, oh, this is neat. It's a sconce lighting. I could just plug into the car, you know, wire into a switch under the, you know, under the dash or something. And just little stuff like that, you know. It's just, it was just when I was heavy into the Japanese magazines, what are these people doing that I can utilize without being over the top and making my car useless? You know? Yeah. So. Well, and, and, and that's good to do that because you're away from the norm, and that's that's what sets you apart with it. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these guys now, if you, you know, you're going back to the groups, you see the same things over mm -hmm. and over and over again. And, you know, like I was talking about outside, you know, it seems... Even with the mini trucks now, the mini trucks are kind of that way too. Where it's all, we're, yeah, it's all the same. Absolutely. And I think now we got to look more back into the import world and things like with Daniel and his Purple XB and pushing those limits a little bit or looking even further into it because it's more of that race car look because it's so over the top. Yeah. And I true. think that's really where it needs to go with some yeah. of it because, you know, it's full circle because, like, <laughs> Like, okay, when, when he started building this car, neon lights and crazy race was in, and then now that went away, and then the lighting came back, and now it's cool to have the race car look again, you know? it's Well, and, and the funny thing is, is you know, the, the, import, the import guys brought in the, the lighting again, and now it's to the point where the mini truck guys are putting it on, and I'm going, <clears throat> uh, it don't look right. Yeah. <laughs> you can't yeah. put underglow on a truck that's supposed to lay on the ground, you know what I no. mean? Like, I... I mean, some is okay, but... Uh, Alright, so here's something for all you guys, and we'll start off with, with uh, Jim again. He's quick-witted, he could do that. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is something that you like, you guys would like to see that would become popular with a lot of these that's coming up now? Because, you know, like we said, everything's getting so regurgitated and overdone. Mm -hmm. you know, was, obviously, with looking at you, you always looking overseas. Overseas has gone well since I follow I follow more of the Japan stuff because that's where the influence for my car came from. Uh, the only way Japan is really standing out is by standing out. Whatever they need to do to make the car look different from the others. The EK wagon I showed you that uh -huh. had 20 million pipes on it. You know, uh, when I saw that car, it didn't have all that, and I thought it was cool just like that. So when that showed up the next year, I was like, my God, it's just. I didn't think you could do any better. You know, it really does. It's their exhaust work is like what Dan did. You know, he kind of took yeah. it to the end. They've always been, always been right out there with their titanium exhaust and re running, ramping them through the bumper, and the tips come out some weird place. You know, I've seen guys where they've done the stacks and they look like cigarettes standing up on the ends. I've yeah. seen stuff like that. You know, it's it's interesting just to take that extra step. You know, and it, when it comes to that, it, uh, I don't know. I I like the fact that. There's a little interest in the old late 90s, early 2000s, high import nights kind of stuff, but no one knows really where to go with it anymore because they're afraid to go there. They're afraid it, to go it, there. We talk about it at work. Yeah. There's, a, there's a fine line because yeah. what's happening with that is people want that feel and that vibe, but they don't want to build a car that's dated before they even build it. You mm -hmm. have to figure out how to bring the modern in with, mm -hmm. with old, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's some trends, like, even in mini trucking, like, you can't go backwards now, like unless you're gonna go into the '90s or the '80s. Like the 2000s was like not well, fire oh, glass, I everything. I go backwards in a heartbeat. I would love to have a hard body and just crank down the torsion bars and throw four inch drop locks on it. And That's what people do. Less. That's what people are I doing. I don't care how bad it rides. That's what I know. Right. Well, it, the, and it's funny that you say that. You know, bringing that back because I know you guys all go to World of Wheels last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a, you live under a rock and you're married, so. <laughs> there's a Corolla there that's running around Plainfield. I see it all the time. It's like pink in the front, gray in the back. I think they changed it now, but it was like gr cracking or something going back. And I was like, dude, that takes me back to those 90s days. Yes, yeah, I know what you're talking about. about. It, 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 I, yes. I saw him the other day. Yes. Yeah, I saw him the other day. This is a very 90s look. I, I looked at it. that and I was like, dude, I love that look. Which comes to your Toyota Sienna post you had the other day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. You know what's funny is that, that Sienna you post with all those shapes, that's kind of bringing it back a little bit too because think about it like the mid-80s, everyone was into the geometrical yeah. shit, yeah. like, you know, the mm -hmm. triangles and the square and the, mm -hmm. 
paint jobs what, like that. So what, it's what, kind of what about even like Itasha? What are we afraid of here to throw some anime characters on your car? And, you know, mm-hmm. That's still a That's thing. a huge yeah. deal. It's still huge in Japan. Yeah. But everyone's afraid to do it here. It's the radiation. Are you saying that the style's cooked? <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. <laughs> you know what? I think it's, I think it's cool. like Mike Jones did that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not my thing, but like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I think it's all right. I mean, well, I think a lot of people look at it. You know, yeah, like, it's it's fun. Yeah, it does absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, think everybody's yeah. gotten so much. You know, the whole import thing. A lot of it is about clean. It's very polished over. Nobody wants it's to super go crazy. Clean, and yeah. then but but you're looking at Japan and they're going wild, and that's oh yeah, what yeah. needs to come over here. And it, and I think it's a lot. A lot of it has to do with a lot of the people here just want to buy parts and throw it on. Yeah, they need to get into the mm-hmm. fabrication and see it because that's. Everybody, you see it everywhere on all the posts. Oh my God, where'd where they get that bumper? Yeah. They the made link. it. Yeah. 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 What link is it? It's the instant gratification. They don't even want the name. They want the link. They can't yeah, even. They, they can't, can't even, even do research. Simple, <laughs> no. Oh, dude, yeah. I posted about my mirrors, and they're like, "Can you send me a link?" No, I got it on eBay. Look the fucking shit up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look them up. Yeah. <laughs> so now, Here's a tip. No, they don't even ask anymore. It's just link. Yeah. Like, yeah. Really? Link. What does that mean? Here's a question mark. It just goes link. because we're doing our outro before we even filmed the medium middle part, so we didn't even know what we talked about. They it. didn't know that until we told them that. I know, but... They would have figured it I'm out. I'm not anyway. here to make this illusion for these people. I'm for real. This place actually exists. You uh-huh. know that about Gas Monkey, right? That that shop isn't actually a shop at all. Yeah, well, you know what really funny is? What really got me, and you can go on this in a minute, but when they did the episode where they had the monster truck and they're going, I threw so much money into it, Clear Channel owns all those. Just so you guys know. And that's the people own, didn't Clear Channel own Discovery? Possibly. But Clear Channel owns it, it's basically professional wrestling and cars is what it is. I knew this because I painted it. (laughs) (laughs) WWE. Sorry to screw up the illusion for you people. You just harsh my mellow. Yeah. Well. Anyway. We know that nothing's real on nothing's Gas Monkey real. because they said, what was the title? We're talking about Gas Monkey. Burnouts equal quality. Fuck those if guys. If you ask Rich. Fuck those guys. I'll tell you. Even though I kind of look like him. You also look like the Colonel, too. <laughs> you, can, you can go both ways with that. You got the right look. I'm Colonel Oz. I don't look like fucking. anybody. I Colonel like... Oz, one of the Box Brothers. Fuck you all. The Box Brothers. Eat my chicken. Wow. No, okay. We eat tacos, not chicken. I love tacos. Is chicken tacos? Chicken tacos? No, oh, I got the steak. I, don't like I got a joint by you. If you're ever up by me, I got a spot. I kind of eat too. steak tacos. Although I had chicken tacos for lunch. I like the chicken. This really. conversation is way... This is terrible. Yep. This isn't good for viewership. Blue, and, bloopers. Anyway. Well, we got anything else to bring up? Bloopers episode. That would work. Oh my god. Everything's a blooper for us. This whole show's a blooper. <laughs> we, just, we just let it go and hopefully somebody laughs at it. I think we covered it. I think we did. 
It's fun. We did have fun. I think, because we haven't filmed that part yet. <laughs> well, I always have fun, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna put my money on this so, to be fun. This is a wrap on episode number twenty six, and we will come at you again with the rest of this in twenty seven. Dude, we're almost at thirty, motherfucker. We're ticking lighter up. We did right realize along. one thing. And he's drinking Polar Pop right now. But we've realized that it, things calm down a lot when we don't drink beer. Yeah, we didn't drink beer on the last one. <laughs> no, and I think Wait, did we do that on purpose or did we do that because we were out? It was hot. Yes. It was hot as <laughs> hell. And there was no liquor. It's much nicer today. It's we didn't have hot. any liquor, but the fridge is stocked and I'll take a picture of that. Yeah, it's awesome now. We got <laughs> drinks, we got beer, we got Just been dancing girl snackies. Girl. We got the green screen for that. I know, and I, I have not used that one, so right now I could put the dancing girl. Did you figure out the taco yet? The dancing taco? I have the dancing taco. Okay, perfect. We're set. I don't, maybe we'll have the taco and the dancing girl dancing. <laughs> and the same, the same thing. Can you do that? That might be some fun. Put the right taco there. in the middle. <laughs> oh. I had that dream! We may, have just, we may have just started a new kind of porn. We may, we may, we may get kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. So, we're, we're gonna drink more, and hopefully 27's intro and outro will be a little better. We'll see you guys later. I wanna love, love, love. Every day and every night, every night. Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this love, is this love, is this love, is this love that I'm feeling? I wanna go
ain't no I go by the name of Lupe Fiasco Representing that first and 15 Yeah, uh And this one right here I dedicate this one right here To all my homies out there grinding You know what I'm saying? Legally and illegally <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? So Check it out, uh First got it when he was six, didn't know any tricks Matter of fact, first time he got on it, he slipped Landed on his hip and busted his lip For a week he had to talk with a lisp like this Now we can end the story right here But shorty didn't quit, it was something in the air Yeah, he said it was something so appealing He couldn't fight the feeling, something about it He knew he couldn't doubt it, couldn't understand it Branded, since the first kick flip, he landed Uh, labeled a misfit, a band Chip, how's it going? All right. Is Dottie still working on your bike? No. Had it back a couple days already. What's she doing to it? Can't really talk about it. You know, James Bond kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Dottie, she's really radical with bikes. Hi, Peely. Say we cruise, dudes. Yeah. <laughs> sure it's getting hot in here. Steamy. I'm sweating. So is my horn ready yet? Yeah, it's ready. Should be loud enough for you now. Well, where is it? Let's hear it. Wait, I want to talk to you first. You are talking to me. No, I want your undivided attention. Look, Pee this is important. There's someone want to ask you. Mm-hmm. I... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to know if you'll do something. What? I want to know if you'll go someplace with me. Like where? The drive-in. Look, Daddy, I like you. Like? I like you! And that's the thing, I like you too. Daddy! There's a lot of things about me you don't know anything about, Daddy. Things you wouldn't understand. Things you couldn't understand. Things you shouldn't understand. I don't understand. You don't want to get mixed up with a guy like me. I'm a loner.